I wanted to talk about seizures because less than a week from now, on the 26th of March, 2019, it's Purple Day, which is basically Epilepsy Awareness Day. The whole month of March is generally uh, Epilepsy Awareness Month, at least in Toronto, as far as I know. I just wanted to talk about epilepsy and seizures. I had a tonic-clonic seizure on Sunday night, and it really sucked because I bit all around my tongue. I couldn't talk properly for the past couple days. I still can't talk 100%, but it's a lot better than it was yesterday. So, what is a tonic-clonic seizure? A seizure in general, and the neurons in the brain, or basically the brain's wires, uh, misfire. So they're sending signals to parts of the brain that they shouldn't be sending signals to, and that's when a seizure happens. I have basically all types of seizures. I have the partial seizures, you know, like twitches and stuff I have. Absence, I have which basically I have absence which basically looks like I am spacing out and I didn't even realize what that was until I started having seizures. And you know and then there's the tonic clonic seizures, which really, really, really suck, especially because I'm pretty incapacitated after the seizure and basically for the next day I can't really get out of bed because my body is sore because it was working out without me telling it to work out. My body is still sore. As you can see on the right side of my tongue pretty bad. I also bit here. Not showing as much. And here. I usually just bite the sides of my tongue. And it's usually the right side is worse um, sometimes. And, and then the left side is worse at other times. It can definitely vary. A lot of people with epilepsy, unless they have constant seizures happening one after the other on a regular basis and people with epilepsy tend to have you know normal jobs you know my best friend she works in a school people who work in a law office know people that are chefs I know people that are stockbrokers there are a lot of different types of people and that includes people just happen to have epilepsy. Now, of course, in my case, it's different. I can go out and do things, but I have to be careful not to overexert myself. I have to be careful to make sure that I eat on time and take my medication on time so that I'm not lacking any of the necessary, I guess, ingredients to keep me healthy. I have been taking CBD oil. People always tell me, oh, why don't you take CBD oil? Yes, I take CBD oil now and it has been helping me a lot. Uh, I'm also trying to be on a ketogenic diet. Being a ketogenic vegan is honestly not that difficult. Unless you have somebody that cooks pasta all the time then it can get difficult because there are points where I can't cook for myself and I can't even feed myself. So I have to eat whatever is given to me. So cutting the unnecessary carbs like pasta can be definitely difficult. And I have been better when I have been eating fully keto. So last week I was making a video for somebody who requested it on Fiverr and I didn't realize until I started editing the video that I had a seizure. I was just 
running through the lines that they gave me. I was recording the whole thing, and boom, seizure. And I just kept going because I didn't even register that I actually had a seizure. Of course, it was a smaller seizure. It only lasted a couple of seconds, but seeing that and understanding for myself that there are times when my seizures will happen and it won't even register that it happened. I won't even know that it happened unless I see it myself or if somebody points it out. And now you <laughs> And now you just want to sit there? There are different ways that if you don't have epilepsy yourself and you know somebody with epilepsy, you can help them out if they have tonic-clonic seizures like me. When they do start having a seizure, you lay them on your side, make sure nothing is in their mouth, support their head so that it's aligned with their spine so that their airway has a clear way to bring oxygen to their lungs. After that, just assure the person, just be calm. The last thing a person who just had a seizure needs is for somebody to be freaking out because that'll make them freak out. Especially if they know they had a seizure and you're freaking out, they think something bad happened, like they cut their head or something. Maybe they're missing half a brain. So it's important to stay calm and always reassure the person. No matter what type of seizure that they have, you have to reassure that person to let them know that they're safe. The person has a seizure for longer than five minutes, then you definitely have to call 911 because that's going on dangerous territory. Even if you don't have seizures and you don't think you know somebody with epilepsy, I'm sure you do. There's at least one person because one in 100 people in Canada, at least, has epilepsy. So I'm looking at statistics here, and this is from 2015. More than 1%, 1.2% of the total US population had active epilepsy. This is about 3.4 million people with epilepsy nationwide. So 3.4 million people in just in the states alone in 2015 had epilepsy. I think it was every eight minutes somebody's diagnosed with epilepsy in the states. Imagine the increase from 2015 to 2019. There's definitely somebody you know that has epilepsy even if they don't talk about it. You know, there's a lot of stigma that comes with epilepsy. People think that people who have tonic-clonic seizures or grand mals are possessed and they need to be exercised. And then some people think that the people with absence seizures are just spaced out when really, I mean, they kind of are, but not intentionally. And petite mal seizures, you know, partial seizures. It seems weird. Some people might think that that person is crazy if they saw that in public. The whole point about this is that I can do things that others say I can't because they don't understand that I'm also a person. I just happen to have epilepsy. Some people are not so fortunate and they are basically stuck to their bed because they're having seizures constantly. Me, I am thankful that I at least get breaks in between. I think people should be more educated on what epilepsy is because there are so many different kinds of seizures. So, in six days, less than a week, it is purple day. So wear your purple, 
all your purple. If somebody asks you while you're wearing all purple, tell them it's Epilepsy Awareness Day. If they don't know what epilepsy is, you can always uh, tell them to Google it because there is so much information online. There is epilepsy.org in for Toronto. There is uh, Epilepsy Toronto. There are groups everywhere to support you whether you have epilepsy, whether you're a parent of somebody who has epilepsy, whether you're a partner of somebody who has epilepsy, you know, there are support groups for everything. And there is knowledge everywhere. And the internet is, I guess, the closest source for everybody for knowledge on epilepsy. Unless it says that people with epilepsy are actually possessed, then that's not knowledge. That's just a really, really, really old way of thinking. Now, if you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. Be sure to check out my other channels. My comedy channel, my vlog channel, and my gaming channel. My comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays, my vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day, and my gaming channel for awesome playthroughs and wonderful streaming. I love you guys so, so, so much. Mwah.